Hi everybody, welcome very much to the channel as a hero and as a swim pyres. And today we are talking about how good is Mongols in every map. We have every map available to this rank pool ladder right here. Rank ladder map pool, that's what I meant. And wh wh why I'm starting with Mongols? I'll do this for every single civilization. Because I think Mongols is a sieve that is mostly benefiting from this map pool. So let's take a look at it. Let's see why Mongols are good. So I'm not a Mongol expert. I don't play a lot of Mongols. So if you do, or you know somebody that does, comment on below. Help me make sense out of this. And I got Conqueror 1 last season for the first time. Right now I'm Diamond 2. Almost I'm 3. Coming back to Conqueror. So that's where I'm coming from. You can know it's about Mongols. Right? And then thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Use the links down below to catch me live on Twitch, check more videos on the channel, we have casted games, my own experiences, and help to new and returning players. So let's start on Canal, and this is how good Mongols is in each map, right? On Canal, Mongols are pretty good, right? And this is, this is, this is, and this is more like, is the map good for the sieve? This, this is not comparing if Mongols is better than HRE on Canal. This is not comparing if Mongols is better than English on Canal. It's like, you take this sieve, you play it on that map, is it good? Now, I think it's really good on Canal, right? But of course, it's not a water civilization. It doesn't have any eco bonus dedicated to fishing, but they are great at countering others' fishings, right? Because fishing now is slower than it was before. Even Zushi and China, with their 10% faster dock production, also, uh, that also got nerfed. Everybody got nerfed. So Mongols are really good at aging up, double production. Sometimes they don't even need a ram. They got a lot of spearmen or a lot of Kashyyyk. And it's really hard to perturb. And also, no, it's really hard to counter that perturbance of the docks. And also if Mongols decides to fish, in general, they already generate stone by default. So automatically, quote unquote, they can have the naval arrow emplacement, the naval arrow slit, so which makes it harder to fight really early on with Mongols on the water. And then, because they can double produce Kashyyyks, they only pay for one Kashyyyk and they get two, so while the fight on the water is happening, they can attack you on land, right? But then, they don't have walls or keeps, so it's easy to raid them back. The trade is pretty good on Canal, but you're already investing a lot on water and units. So perhaps there is not a lot of time to trade. But if you do trade and you have successful trade, even without water, I guess I would push this to A. Because then it's really, really good. You destroyed the fishing of the enemy, right? And you are living life with Mongols. Let me just move this over here to over there the chat then on cliffside mongols i think it's a tier it's it's not s tier mongols because the trade usually is really in the middle of the map so really hard to protect very easy to harass cliffside a map with very short distance in between each other very easy to tower rush very easy to raid with Kashyyyk. the wood lines are like small and scattered so it's very hard to wall or it's a bit more complex to position your spearman in order to defend from the Kashyyyk raid. And then double produce archers to counter whatever the enemy is doing. Or you double produce spearman. It's really, really good. Mongols do really, really well on Cliffside. Then we have Cliffside here in repetition. I didn't want to. But here it is. Then Dry Arabia. I think it's pretty solid. Perhaps it's going to be B. Because most times than not, on Dry Arabia, the trade post spawns like in the middle of the map. In the middle as in... Not in the middle, away from your base, but like in the middle, horizontally, behind your base, right? But Mongols way better in uh, Dry Arabia than in Canal, for sure. And then it's an open map. Usually there is no much time for walls and keeps anyway. So Mongols kind of... right. So no, I'll put it in A, right? Better... Because sometimes the trade is good. So yeah, I think Mongols in Dry Arabia is A tier. Really, really good. No shenanigans, simple, tower rush, double production, get them, mates. Gorge, 
I think on Gorge is like they, I think they are worse than on Cliffside because it's the same deal with the trade position and Mongols really rely on trade which the trade is in the middle of the map, but the distance is not so short. It's easier to wall. The enemy only has one wood line, which is that gigantic wood line in the back. So I think it's harder for Mongols to do Mongol things, but I still think they are really, really good on Gorge, still more open than not. If you have map control, you can trade. Tower Rush can be critical on this map because sometimes the gold and the berries for the Byzantines, for Abbasid, Ayubit, and Delhi, and Japanese is really important. Sometimes they spawn together, so with one tower, you can deny all of that. So, I think Mongols great for Gorge. Now, on Healing Dale, S tier. But also, Mongols can't make walls. Healing Dale is all about walls. Mongols can't make keeps. How will Mongols stop others from getting gold if they can't secure it with keeps? Well, first, Feudal Age map control is really important, Tower Rush really perturbs the enemy, and then the trade is super, super good on Hill and Dale. And if you have map control, you don't need keeps, you don't need walls. Especially if you have such a, a great economical powerhouse like Mongol Trade, plus double production, you can go for a second TC, you drop outposts on the enemy gold, you know when he goes there, you move your Kashyyyk there, it's really good. It's S tier because of the trade, it's always good, always from one corner to the other corner of the map. Mongols thrive in that type of maps. And then, some sieves will fall into the trap of trying to turtle in their base with walls because it's Hillendale. And then you're basically allowing Mongols to grow their trade and double production army, right? Then on Himeyama, Himeyama, I think I'll put it on A. Actually, I don't have a very clear idea about this guy, so if you know, let me know in the comments down below how good you think Mongols are on him. I, am. I think it's good. Open map, hard to wall as well, a bit like cliffside. Trade. I think trade is okay. It's a bit more close to the middle, but not really in the middle of the map, as in vertically. Right? Can go for fishing, but not really useful for Mongols. But it's hard to wall, easy to raid. I think a lot of the maps are like that. For Mongols right now, I think Mongols really, really benefit for the map pool this season. Then Baltic. I think Mongols really struggle on Baltic because on Canal it's very easy to go and arrest enemy dock, but not on Canal because, you know, this is the Canal. You spawn here and the enemy spawns there, down there. So it's really, really far away. So to kill the opponent dock is not really easy. I don't even know if that trade posts. I think I think they do from corner to corner, but that's not optimal, so I'll put Mongols C tier on Baltic. Rocky River though. Trade is good, but it's very easy to fast castle with other sieves. And I barely see people play Mongols on Rocky River. This is also perhaps an uninformed take. Mongols Rocky or being B. On Rocky River, so if you guys have a different opinion, of course, in course, let me go. And then the other S tier map for Mongols the pit trade is excellent, the wood line is away from the enemy town center, so easier to raid. The map is divided in three, and you have a lot of mobile units horsemen, Kashyyyk, Mangudai, and then you can really make use of the um, step read bout to go into that middle big gold node while you're attacking, while you, you have trade in the back, Kurutai always very, very useful. And I think the pit and hill and dale are very good for Mongols. And as, as you can see, two S tier maps for Mongols, four A tier, one B tier, which is Canal, Rocky River. I, I think they might be A over there, but I'm not sure. So I'll do that and then only see on Baltic. There is no map where they are the there is no map where they are clearly trash. And I think there was even a, a viewer on my Twitch stream, use the link down below to catch me live on stream, on Twitch, I mean, where they said Mongols got buffed this patch. And I was like, what? And they were like, yeah, the map pool. Because the map pool is really, really good for Mongols, right? So this is everything for today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. 
Use the links on below to find you live on Twitch. And comment, I want to know what you think about Mongols in this map pool for Season 8. Thank you, and i see you on the next video.